Hey everybody, welcome. My name's Isaac. I'm a music producer and a composer. Today we're going to be checking out some behind the scenes of BTS. Uh, now, I always thought BTS stood for behind the scenes. It means bang tan boys or a, and a couple of other things. <laughs> I don't know. I don't speak Korean, but we're going to be checking out some of their behind the scenes stuff today. And I'm really excited about this because I've really not watched any of it. I'm a huge fan of BTS as a band and like a bunch of their solo careers are really cool, um, but I've never really dived into their like behind the scenes recording studio footage. I have a recording studio here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Today I'm in my just writing production room where I do all my composing. I go into the main studio to track vocals and drums and things like that. Anyway, uh, let's get started. <laughs> I love this setup. You saw him, uh, I think this is Jungkook, correct? Uh, you saw Jungkook doing like this. Uh, a lot of singers, before they start recording their parts, will they have like a warm up routine. And it, it varies from artist to artist. The more you practice, the more you kind of know what helps you loosen up your jaw, loosen up your lips, and just helps you sing better. Try and hit some higher notes to kind of warm up your vocal cords. And you do these little like uh, <laughs> things to just kind of get blood like flowing through your face. And it just helps you sing better. It's really cool. Every artist is a little different. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're like, this is like guerrilla recording. Oh yeah, still warming up there. Dang, you can hit those high notes. That's amazing. It's really cool that they're doing this with like the absolute minimum of a setup. They're just in like a living room right now. Uh, that microphone, that's like a Lewitt LCT 440 or a 240. Probably that's like a cheap microphone. That's like $100, $200. Just really cool to see him like pop filters literally stuck on there with a rubber band. You don't need a lot to make good music. I have expensive gear, but I didn't start on expensive gear. I My first recording session was with like a $200 microphone and an interface that I borrowed from like a church or my dad or something. You don't need a huge studio. I just want to take a second to talk about today's sponsor, Wondershare Filmora. Filmora is a really easy to use video editing software by the company Wondershare. So if you're looking for a way to make your videos look professional without spending hours just trying to like figure stuff out, Filmora is the way to go. I've been using it for my own videos um, and it's honestly a game changer. One of the best things about Filmora is that it is easy to use. You don't have to be like a pro editor to create something that looks like cool and polished. But also if you want to dive into more advanced stuff like motion tracking or keyframes, framing, Filmora can pull that off as well. My absolute favorite feature in Filmora is this AI tool called Smart Short Clip Maker. It analyzes all your footage and automatically cuts it down to the best highlights so that you can make quick like shareable like shorts here on YouTube or like any other social media platform. It actually saves me a ton of editing time. Also check this out. So they've got over 220,000 like creative assets like music, effects, templates, um, really just every, anything and everything that you need. So if you want your video to stand out, you'll just literally never run out of ways to just be creative with it. With Filmora, it's super easy to create movement with keyframes as well as just all the pre-programmed transitions. You really can make some cool looking edits with just a few clicks. Also, color grading has never been easier. You can pick one of the AI presets or dive in deeper with like the manual color grading tools. It is awesome. Plus, it integrates with stuff like Google Drive and Adobe, uh, like Creative Cloud. So if I mean, you're like me and already have a workflow, Filmora just fits right in. Um, and the best part, it's available on literally anything like Windows, Mac, iOS, Android. So yeah, if you're ready to take your video editing to the next level, or you just wanna try video editing for the first time, hit the link in the description or the pinned comment and you can download Filmora for free and just start creating content now. And did they think about anything in the rap break or not? Oh, did they have it already? Really? Oh, that's they? great. Yeah, no, I've actually produced music with international, like uh, people who speak a different language. It's challenging because as a producer, you need to kind of, you have to look at every single aspect of music, not just the production of the, like the music itself, but you also have to know what the artist needs vocally, like be able to pick out the right words that they're using, work with them on their intonation and stuff like that. So if you don't speak the language, it could be really difficult to, it could be really 
difficult to work with an artist who's singing in a different language. So props to Chris Martin here for just going with it because uh, it's a challenge. <laughs> Yeah, it's always really nervous, like meeting like a big ticket artist or something like that, like working with people who have done like serious things, like even BTS and Chris Martin, who are absolutely massive artists, they're still like nervous meeting each other. And that's, yeah, it's cool to see. Yeah, when you first meet the artist you're working with, it's first impressions and really just kind of getting to know each other is super important so that when you get into the studio, you guys are comfortable. It's good to like meet each other beforehand before you get into the studio. <laughs> 그런 밴드랑 밴드 대 밴드로서 뭔가 이제 입을 맞춰볼 수가 있다는 거는 사실은 저희한테도 되게 큰 그런 거죠. 뭐, 아, 우리 성공했구나. 그런 생각 되게 많이 들고 심지어 저는 어쨌든 라이팅까지 하게 돼서. Yeah. I love V's voice. It's really lower. A lot of the other members, they sing up in their higher registers, like Jungkook, Jimin. Yeah, they just like, I think V grounds this, the, the, like the, the singers in BTS a little bit. And yeah, I love his voice. <laughs> <laughs> I love him giving that a shot. That's fun. Freeze. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So they're just working out how they want the part to, like, the those lyrics to sound. Because, like, you think, oh, just go in and sing it. But your intonation, the enunciation is really important when you record. So, like, what Chris is looking for here is a little bit more of, like, a sharper, punchier sound. Because I think V likes to sing a little bit smooth. Chris Martin's just going, hey, bring it up a notch, put a little punch into it. It's great. Nice. Ah, nice. Have a That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and some people, for their warm up, just start screaming. It's happened. When I'm made out to him, when I'm, when I'm made. So now they're using, it's, it's the opposite. They're, they're in a major studio right now. That's a Sony C800 microphone. That is around 10 grand. It's like about the best microphone you can get. Sometimes the good gear works really well. Do you need it? No. Is it cool to have it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jungkook being like, I'm worried I'll mess it up. Yeah. Dude, you're a legend. That's so hot. Great. Please tell JK he's, he's so impressive. He's really impressive. Thank <laughs> you! Oh, J John Bellion, dude, okay. John Bellion is one of my favorite producers ever in the history of music. I forgot that he produced some of Jimin's new album, but like, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. He's incredible. We find so many times I lose my... Oh, no way, are they... You guys are the first artists They're collecting. that have seen us do this. That's awesome. Like Dude, I'm s wait a minute. Hold up. This is breaking my mind. So what they just did is they all put their phones away so that they could focus. Do you know how much time I've spent in the studio with people just staring at their phones and we're supposed to be getting stuff done? Literally all the time. I'm literally doing this. Good on Jimin for <laughs> jumping in on that. Good stuff. I love that. Let's do it too. Yeah, good old classic U87, the microphone right there on guitar. Can't go wrong with that. U87 is the is considered the workhorse of the studio. You can record anything with that thing. It is cla a classic microphone. Probably used more in music than any other microphone probably ever. Really on the fourth one and then off the rhythm, so play real I love how I love how John Bellion just like explains what he wants by just doing the music with his voice. It's so great. <laughs> Hold 
Yeah, back on the C800. So yeah, this big old thing sticking out. That's actually a heat sink because there's a tube inside of this microphone and tubes make a lot of heat. And so they stuck this big old thing on the back of it to just get heat away from the microphone so that it can function properly. It's just, it's an interesting design. You can turn about that, Okay, let's go. Big or not? <laughs> Dude, okay, literally, like, when you're in the studio for a couple days, it gets to the point where it's like, you just gotta have fun. Because if you're not having fun, then what's the point? <laughs> Alright, so this is the behind the scenes of uh, J Hope's last album, on the Hope on the Street. I love this album. It's got some great tracks on there and uh, yeah let's check this out yeah get that c800 well this bass show of he's using an interesting pair of headphones so these are what's called these are what are known as open back headphones so that little that the silver on there actually means that your headphones are not sealed so most headphones that you see on a daily basis are sealed um these are not and what that lets do is sound kind of be around your head they just sound more natural i don't love recording on a microphone with open back headphones because that sound is escaping and going into your head microphone and can kind of be picked up it's fine for doing like if you if you listen quietly and you're kind of doing a heavier production, like a pop production or something like that, I guess you can get away with it. He's doing it here. That's fine if that works for him. He's probably throwing down scratch takes right now, just figuring things out. Generally, you want a closed back headphone for recording. Mixing, absolutely. Mastering, absolutely get those open backs because they sound a little more natural, feel more like they're in the space. Do you all like? Like, just you all like? Dude, he can sing. What the heck? I didn't know he could like pull that off. Okay. <laughs> English lyrics are hard. Yes, English lyrics are hard even for Americans. <laughs> ah, P Dog. Yeah. P Dog is, I believe P Dog is the like main producer for BTS. Like he's kind of their, like they produce a lot of their own stuff, but they always have P Dog like doing their uh, like vocal recordings and like hit and record for them and stuff like that. I don't know much about him, but I know he's done a lot with BTS and that's super cool. Yeah, a lot of uh, artists will, it goes two ways. Either they'll come looking like super snazzy and dressed all like up for what they're doing, or they'll come in in literal pajamas. There is no in between <laughs> jk is he's in his pajamas oh, <laughs> i love j-hope so much <laughs> he's trying it. So it looks like Jungkook just kind of woke up and like fell into the studio. And so J-Hope is just trying to get him on board, get a little more. What he said is, I want you to put more like funk or groove behind what you're saying. That basically means that Jungkook is singing kind of lazy. And he's like, all right, dude, wake up. Time to actually do this. It happens. Like sometimes an artist will just wake up and they're just tired and they don't feel like doing it. And you got to kind of use like vocabulary that can like say hey i want you to basically do better jk he's a great artist love him records insanely well um, but every artist needs a little little pep and a little uh hey let's do this let's get this done and so j-hope did a great job in that
Yeah, even if your artist is singing like absolute crap, like, and I'm not saying Jungkook is singing badly, but I think he's, he's singing a little tired. J-Hope is still like, this is great. You always want to be positive. You never want to be like, oh, I don't think I like it or, oh, this isn't working out because you'll get in the artist's head and then they'll feel bad about what they're doing and you don't want that. You always want the artist to be super happy, super excited to be there. You always want to be just cheering them on. Really, the goal is to be as comfortable as possible with what you're doing. So when you're recording. Make it more pizzazzy there. Yeah, that's that's a good word. That means just put a little more oomph into it without saying do better. <laughs> Yeah, J-Hope is doing a great job getting what he needs out of uh, Jungkook with his with the song that they're doing and he's doing it in a really like finessey way really kind of getting what he needs without insulting J Jungkook by saying just hey this is sucking do better and he's doing great. He's a great producer. <laughs> Love it. All right, that's all for today. If there's any more clips you guys want me to take a look at, throw them down in the comments and I will take a look and maybe we'll do more of these. I don't know. I love watching people in the studio. It is just super fun. And uh, thank you, Wondershare, for sponsoring this video. Check out Filmora. There's a link in the description. It's an awesome editing product. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.